Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. It has been a minute since I've done an Avid Media Composer tutorial, but I saw something the other day on the uh, Avid Editors of Facebook group uh, about auto monitoring, <laughs> and I wanted to walk through what that is. So I'm still on a super old version of Media Composer, but this seems to still be a, a feature and a question in newer versions. So uh, auto monitoring, uh, if you, you know, if you didn't know, this uh, this guy over here, this controls what track you are viewing. So uh, if I had multiple clips stacked on top of each other, uh, right now uh, I'm viewing the clip that is on V2 and everything underneath. Uh, if I click this guy, I'm viewing everything on V5 and underneath. There's this time code track here. Uh, if I drop this down to V1, now I'm seeing just V1. So. Uh, for me, I like to set this at the topmost track or, you know, right below whatever, if I have some random stuff up there like a time code track, uh, and leave it there. But sometimes, uh, it, or not sometimes, when you start to patch uh, over here, so this is the stuff from, from the source side, uh, when I patch, it's dropping the monitor to the different uh, different tracks. So, you know, I go, I do my thing, I edit my clip in, and then, you know, I'm stuck until I got to, you know, uncheck V2 or you don't even have to do that, I think, and check V5 or turn on V5 and then it will adjust tracks. Yeah, you got to turn off the track and turn it back on. Uh, and then it's going to move. It's going to auto monitor. I don't like that feature. It's a feature, um, but you can turn this off. So to do that, uh, right click and empty space in your timeline uh, and go to timeline settings. Go under the edit tab, there's this display tab and the edit tab, and turn off auto monitoring. Uncheck that, click OK, and now when you start moving these, um, when you start selecting and unselecting tracks, that monitor, um, where you're monitoring that track, that's not going to move ever until you move it. So that is it, that is how auto monitoring works, and you know, if you want to turn it off, uh, you know, the benefits behind that. So up to you if you want to use it, but now you know. So um, yes, it has been a minute since I've done Avid tutorials. Uh, if there's anything, you know, in this back, like an 8.4, that's what I'm using. Uh, anything back here in the 8.4 world that's still useful for today, I'm going to try and make tutorials for it until uh, later on this year, 2022, when I finally upgrade my system, upgrade my Avid, do all that stuff, and I'm on the nice, shiny, brand new media composer, you know, like eight, nine years, you know, ahead of this version that I'm using today, but still re relevant. Uh, I know Avid, they kind of, um, there's a lot of great things that are still here, you know, in today's world. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. It's been good to be back here in Avid, uh, showing you how to do something until next time, uh, go drink some water and I'll see you guys around in the next video.